You are warmly welcome to the Keys Music Official. You all know that on the key of F, we have our do call to be like this, right? But I can tell you that this sounds more basic, so you can skip that and play this chord instead. There's also a do chord, but it sounds a little bit different. If you don't understand how I came out of this chord, then this video is perfectly made for you. So just stay tuned to the end of this video and make sure you hit on the like and the subscribe button as well. Let's take this chord that I just played, do me so on the key of F, you've seen it. If I'm to play a left hand chord to accompany my right hand, I can choose to play this do note over it. This is the most basic chord that you can ever play. If you want to go a little bit advanced, that in that case, you play a perfect fifth chord against this same do chord. This part most of us have been playing for so long. Now I'm going to show you a simple way to generate chords or how to come out with different chords that sound much better than this um, basic chord that we are playing here. In that case, I'll be basing on four or three principles here. The first principle will be harmonization. Normal basic harmonization on the left hand. So how does that go? We have our perfect fifth chord, do, so do on our left hand, and do, mi, so on our right hand. So on the left hand, I will be harmonizing it to the lower third. What does that mean? It means, you know, I have my do note upon whatever thing that we are playing. This is a do chord, and we have our root note to be this F note. So if I want to go a lower third, I will count do, T, La, I'm just on the major scale on the key of F. So one, two, three. My lower third will be this La note. So in that case, I'll be playing this D perfect fifth chord on my left hand instead of playing this F perfect fifth chord here. So in this in this case, I'll be playing something like this. This is the first step. Now, if you take a close look at the left hand chord that I've just played. You can see that this note, D note, has been repeated here. Let me give you a simple secret to spice up your playing. Whenever you are coming up with chords, make sure that the chords that you play on your right hand, none of the notes can be found on the left hand or the right hand, both hands, okay? As me, I'm coming out with chords, I have to make sure that the chord that I play, as me, I play this C chord, I have to make sure that the chord that I played on my C on my left hand don't have any note in relation with the right hand chord that I'm, I've just played. So that's what I'm basing on here. So this chord that I have here, let's take the left hand as well. You can see that this D note has been repeated on the higher octave. So you can choose to skip that and I have the La and the Mi only over this Do chord. So if you compare the left and the right, you can see that this Mi note has been repeated on the left hand. So we can choose to skip this Mi note here. Now we have Do So on the right and the left. We have La Mi on the left. You understand? All right, the next thing I'm going to be doing here is what it called. I'll be following a new note since I have this um, note on my left, it sounds more spacious. So I'll be blowing some notes in here. I won't go far, I'm going to blow a ninth note. If you don't understand the ninth note, if you take the F major scale, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. If you have to be counting, you have Do to be 1, Re, 2, Mi, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The Do, the higher octave with this Do is also 8. Ray to be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So whenever I say ninth note, it means the Ray is that simple. So I'm going to add the ninth note to this chord that I have on my right. So this is my ninth note. Here is it. I'll just place over my left hand chord. You understand? Now the next turn. The next principle I'll be following here is what they call melody on top harmonization. What does that mean? It means that 
whenever you are playing a chord over a melody, assume you have this melody line do ti do do ti do if i'm supposed to play a chord instead of playing just a note then on this do note i have to form a chord and the very chord that i must form that i will form on the do chord the law says that the topmost note if i say the topmost note of a chord it means the last note of the chord for instance if you have this c chord like this the topmost note is the g note or the re note all right so if you have these two notes the top top note topmost note is the c note all right now whatever chord that we form we must have our last note to be on the do since we are forming um we are generating chords um that will replace the do chord i need a chord that will have its last note to be on this do note but in this case on the right hand we are having do re so it means we're having the so note to be our topmost note i don't want it that way so the best thing i could do is just invest the chord then bring this do note to the higher octave then i have something like this re so do it's just an inversion you see that still over the left hand lie and me so let me bring it closer in that case i'll have it here you can see that but this is how come i came um to arrive on this chord one may ask why is that i'm playing this chord and i'm multiplying i'm multiplying here it's just like a swapping it depends on you you can choose to swap your hand and you have your left to be la and re then your right to be me so the part for my case I will still maintain it and play it this way. This sounds, this seems more professional than this. That's my own idea. That's how I play it. So it depends on you how you want. You want to play your own. Now we have this chord: la, re, mi, so, do, as do. But let's see how we can inculcate this in our playing. <laughs> 